Make sure it starts. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be talking about feline hip dislocation. Um, and the reason that I decided to present on this is because of my cat, Buckeye. Uh, Buckeye is 18, um, and we got her when I lived on the west side of Indianapolis. So the story goes that there had been a rumor going around that a couple blocks down, there was a guy who had a cat and a stray male had impregnated her and she had her kittens and he decided that he did not want them. Um, and so what we were told was that his method of attempting to get rid of them was to put them in a trash bag and try to hit them up against uh, the side of a brick building. And I would like to give him the benefit of the doubt and think that somewhere he heard about small animals and blunt force trauma and just didn't know how to properly execute, but I'm not sure that that's the case. Um, but so a couple days after we heard the story kind of going around the neighborhood, um, we had a little black and white kitten show up on our doorstep and her hip was out of socket and she was lumping around. So my parents brought her inside and we were trying to figure out where we were gonna go because we'd never had a pet before um, and what to do. So we were trying to find the nearest vet, um, figure out. And while we were sitting there trying to figure all this out, she started twitching her leg and kicking it around and she popped it back into place herself and she stood up and started just walking around the house. Um, and so she has been fine ever since. Um, the only things that we've noticed are that it was her right hip. So whenever she fell when she was younger, if she jumped and kind of missed her step or anything, um, she would favor her left side instead of falling on all fours like cats are supposed to. Um, and then she did actually um, trip because she's clumsy coming out of the litter box um, a few years ago and she dislocated it again and while I was getting ready to put her in a crate and take her to the vet once again she popped it back into place herself and was ready to go um, so but other than that she really hasn't had any issues um, but she's older now and we think that she might have a little bit of arthritis in that hip which it could be from two dislocations it also could be from age not 100% sure um, but she really hasn't had any side effects, so she's just an interesting cat. She heals herself. <laughs> she does. Um, so what is hip dislocation? The hip acts as a ball and socket. So the femoral head, which in this picture on the left right here, that's the femoral head. Um, it sits in place of the um, acetabulum, which acts as the socket. You also hear it called the hip socket. Um, and so hip dislocation is when this femoral head right here moves out of position of the acetabulum and typically it's going to move above and in front of. So if you look at um, this x-ray over here, now this um, animal is in dorsal recumbency, so this is the right hip, you're going to see that that femoral head right there is out above and in front. So that is a natural picture? Yes, a that, of yes it is a radiograph of a hip dislocation. Excellent. Um, so what are the causes? The number one most common cause of hip dislocation in cats is blunt force trauma, um, which is similar to the story that I have with my cat. Um, and so this can be falling from great heights, being hit by an automobile, um, also being stepped on by a human or having a tail or limb pulled by a human. This is really common with little kids if they're gonna rough around with the cats or play with them. Um, fighting with another animal, having a body part shut in the door, which would usually be the tail. And then it's also been found that some cats have a predisposition and usually you're going to find that these are cats who will later be diagnosed with hip dysplasia. Um, symptoms. So the most common symptoms, there can be a wide range, but your cat will experience pain. Um, they're going to, you're going to visualize that by them holding up the limb while walking, which you can see in this picture right here. Um, they might also kind of limp around instead of completely holding it up. They're going to have limited or abnormal movement and then um, and if you inspect it, it's going to be tender, there'll be swelling, there can be a decrease in muscle around the joint, um, the limb itself can be bent or um, the joint will be deformed, and often there will, um, the animal will have no toe sensation. So if you go to mess with their toes, they're not going to respond in the way that they usually would. Um, diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosis is always going to be done with an x-ray. Um, since this is a joint and everything, it's going to be best visualized through an x-ray, which you can see right here like earlier. Um, and then treatments, there's a couple options. 
Joint manipulation is going to occur by hand um, by a veterinarian or a skilled practitioner. Practitioner. Um, this can only occur if the dislocated hip is no more than three days old and it's not severe. Um, and so after this joint manipulation occurs, the vet will prescribe painkillers for a couple days because when you relocate everything, there's going to be some um, inflammation and tenderness and it will hurt until everything is resituated. Um, if the dislocated hip is more than three days old, um, or and or it is a severe instance surgery is going to take place which you can see up in this picture right here um, they usually do it with fairly small incisions um, and they kind of just move everything back into place and then of course painkillers will also be subscribed after, um, after surgery so what is the long-term prognosis um, I have found that it is unlikely to re-dislocate um, after a dislocated hip has been properly um, relocated. So this kind of goes against my story, but considering Buckeye did it, she relocated it herself, there's a possibility that maybe that first time not everything was back in place. Um, your cat can also develop stiff or arthritic hips, um, which is what I'm seeing now in our cat. And then an unsuccessful replacement by a veterinarian, either um, by physical, um, joint manipulation or by surgery can lead to osteoarthritis, which you can see in this picture right here. And then that joint is just grading up against um, the acetus. Those are my references. Very good, yes. Any questions? Uh, any questions? <laughs> no, I, but you answered the question I had at the beginning, why this subject? Because I you know, kind of had 